Well, a year ago today, the Gallatin County Sheriff's Office lost one of their own while on duty. MTN's Gabby Krevitt has the story of Deputy Jake Allmendinger, who made the ultimate sacrifice. A year ago today, the Gallatin County Sheriff's Office and community as a whole suffered a tragic loss. Today, we remember and honor fallen Deputy Jake Allmendinger. It's obviously solemn uh, remembering Jake. For, for me, it's just, it seems like it was yesterday, but I can only imagine for the family, it's got to seem like an uncertainty. Lost, but not forgotten. On October 19th, 2019, Deputy Jake Almendinger and his partner, Deputy Ryan Jern, were responding to a report of a stranded car on Ferry Lake Road in the Bridger Mountain Range. The roads were icy and caused the accident, which took Deputy Almendinger's life. The most important thing that I remember was just the love, the overwhelming support and the love. Uh, you know, most of those people didn't even know who Jake was. Deputy Almendinger was with the Gallatin County Sheriff's Office for two years. He spent several years with the dispatch center and was a member of the Gallatin County Search and Rescue Team. His giving to the community, how much he loved the community and how much he ser he wanted to serve and help people, I think that, that that just speaks volumes. MTN News asked the best way people in the community could continue to support the Almendingers. I think probably what Jake would want and what, what they really want is just to continue to support law enforcement in general. You know, uh, we're, we're human beings, but we're good people, and we do this for one specific reason, and that's to help others. Reporting in Gallatin County, Gabby Krevitt, MTN News. Now, Almondinger is survived by his wife, Monica, and their three kids, Bentley, Lexi, and Kai.